sell to your customer, okay? Mm -hmm. And especially now. Okay, don't don't sell to your customer. Let me just give you some things that you know that if you do if you do these things, mm -hmm. we'll have your customer buying, making it easy for them to buy from you. Okay, right. all right, and that's what you want to do is make it easy for your customer to buy from you. Mm -hmm. Let me let me do a quick reality check here before I get into this. Okay, reality check. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. What? Have you heard that one before? No, that's not have true. Have I said Who that anywhere? Call a okay, I all right, you heard that. No understand. one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber, mm. okay? Um, at any time, even when times are good, mm -hmm. okay? Even, and even before you're being told that you're essential, okay? No one wakes up in, in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Right. So when they are calling you, okay. and they are calling you, okay, you only need the one opportunity. Correct. Think about the one opportunity. Opportunities breed opportunities, okay? If we start panicking and looking at, oh, I called her, you know, all right? <laughs> you, you, will, you will achieve that future, that mm -hmm. vision, okay? True debt. One call, make it the most, okay? okay? So here's this customer that doesn't want to call a plumber, and they're probably afraid that you're going to come in and kill them with this, you know, with the, the virus. virus. Okay, because we're all going to die. You're going to get they're going to get the zombie virus. Mm -hmm. Okay, and everyone's you're going to make them a zombie. So if they've <laughs> called you out, mm -hmm. they want you out. They do. They want you out. So there's all right. There's a hint right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so you're already in a good position. <laughs> That's right. Okay. You have customers calling you, asking you, please come and serve me. Okay. It doesn't get any better. Don't than don't that. run through the paces and ask for blood blood type. Right. In their blood, and mm -hmm. is anyone sick in the house? Mm -hmm. And over explain about how you're, you know, you wash your hands and do everything. Okay. You if they Darth call Vader you, mask. go out. Okay. Right. Now, we'll advise to have um, a mask in your pocket ready that if the customer has a mask, that you can whip your mask out, you know, yep. those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And of course, be clean. Now, you need to be focused on that. I don't you need go down to be that clean road. anyway. Right. You need to be clean anyways. Right. Yeah, I get, a, I get a little bit of a kick, these guys that are. Now, you know, doing the stuff where they're showing themselves in hazmat suits and all that kind of stuff. And right. now we're clean. Yeah, we're clean now. The message you're sending is, well, you we weren't clean weren't before. Before, so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. And are you going to continue to wear that hazmat suit and all that stuff Have even after this now? Because right. more people die nope, of the flu. Nope, I'm going to go back to being dirty and crappy after right. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just be, of course, be clean. Be, you know, have a clean uniform on. Um, be aware of how clean your truck looks. Mm -hmm. Be aware of how clean your tools are. Be aware where you're putting your tools. Okay, yes. that kind of stuff. In okay, the house, right. And of course, um, have a mask. Okay, or, or some some you know, there. So if the customer does ask, you know, would you mind? Or if you notice they're wearing a mask, then you you're prepared to go ahead and wear a mask. Too. Absolutely. Okay. So there we have it.